Got the Nectar P6 Panorama. It's my overall workflow. I only use Reasons Studio in my lab. We got monitor number two set up. I normally do video editing too also. We have a secondary screen uh, that I normally use for my video editing. As you can see, I'm a horror buff. Check out my channel, Turn From The Basement. It's also on my YouTube site. Also, we have Yamaha MGP32X. Analog console, one of my favorites. At the top center bridge, we have two 3630s, one 482 BBE uh, Sonic Maximizer, one Furman Power Conditioner on both sides, along with the side rack car. Reason Studio, the only DAR I ever use. I've been a Reasons user since 3.0. So I'm sitting here now uh, mastering one of my tracks. Uh, pretty much I have her finished by the end of the night. Uh, just working on the bass groove. That's why I had to install some VCA bus compression. So that way it would sound real heavy on the um, on the bus, on the drum bus. And uh, she set up for a hard, um, hard knee, set up hard knee. And um, she set uh, the secondary compressor set for a slow attack. And um, she's over easy. Uh, so it's turned out to be pretty good. I like the overall flow already. All I had to do was just take out just a few things on my uh, signal chain to just see how they sound. I'm familiar with all the devices. I just wanted to make sure that um, I was getting the right sound on that particular drum bus. Because usually the way it happens in my lab, I change things over. So we got heavy compression there. Depending on my setup, I'll change things over to, to fit my needs and uh, have everything all wired out. So we got the Nectar Panorama P6. Just want to show y'all guys some of the gear that I use on my lap. I'm going to come at y'all guys with a little short video. We got Master Bus. And just to finalize, I had installed the 1066 DBX compressor. It's already installed. She's already working and ready to go. So that's that's a plus. Now time to create some tracks. Set everything down. Uh, have everything all busted up. Uh, majority of the routing is going to be done pretty much right here. So I don't have to pretty much do too much of anything else because uh, with this controller, you pretty much don't have to use your mouse and your monitor too much because you have everything right in front of you. So that's another thing I liked about the Nectar P6. Um, it's pretty much self-sustainable. Uh, you have total control over your DAR, uh, pads, rotary knobs for filtering and for changing anything that you need parameters. Channel strips out. Anything that you pretty much need is uh, pretty much right there. And then you also have total uh, control over your DAR. So I just want to come at y'all guys and let y'all guys know what I'm working on the lap. And uh, thank y'all guys for showing y'all support, uh, for dropping by my channel. And um, I'll try to get a couple more videos up. Because uh, right now, like I said, I normally post to Facebook. But uh, we'll be uploading to uh, YouTube and try to see what's going on. So but thank y'all guys for um, coming by. Don't forget Yamaha MGP32X. Analog, because this was uh, a lot of talk online. Yes, I'm an analog baby, and that's all I like is analog. Uh, in my pretty mom, in my lab, pretty well monthly. And um, there's a lot of other more gear too that I bring out to you, but I'll do it piece by piece in separate videos, and um, we'll see how everything works out. There's also a uh, Bluetooth speaker that I set right here in front of me. I just had to take that out so y'all guys can see the bridge, because I actually have had that in front. I'm gonna show y'all what that looks like, and uh, the microphone is gonna be for tonight. All right, the microphone that's going to be for tonight's choice is going to be installed on the 7603 mic preamp. And we got the um, Series Black LA320 microphone. It's one of my favorite microphones uh, in my entire kitty. I have a lot of microphones, but this by far is my workhorse. 
Um, she gets a lot of things done uh, in my lab. Um, it sounds superior. Like I said, the quality is pretty much uh, top notch. And um, I go back and forth with uh, Universal Audio and Loudon Audio a lot uh, when it comes to uh, gear. And I try to make sure that uh, I have the right preamp installed on that. And um, by far the best, uh, it will be the 7603 uh, Chameleon Labs um, mic preamp installed on this. It takes it really, really good. Uh, the next one I'm going to put on here is the uh, Universal Auto Audio um, LA610 MK2. It's going to be installed on that next too also. So I changed the preamps based on the microphone, based on... Um, they pretty much uses of what I got coming in my studio. If I have to climb in the studio, then I'll change over the microphone. Depending on what microphone I want to use for that particular day, um, I'll just pull out a microphone and just have it installed and uh, match it up with the client, especially on the female vocals or the male vocals. i uh, try to have it where I match them up pretty good with the right pre and uh, the right microphone. So this is my microphone of choice that I normally use in my lab. And uh, it is an entire workhorse. I'm pretty much... Um, Please with it. I had this microphone a while, but I just never did, did a review on it, so why not just do a review? And that's the power supply to also for the microphone. So that's why you don't see it right there because that's it's already installed. All I have to do is just take the microphone out of the case and then have her plugged up. Yamaha HS8, my favorite. Down here is the Yamaha uh, H10 subwoofer. Decided to add just some pads across the top to make it um, to keep that comb filtering in the middle, so I don't, so I don't have any comb filtering. So and it's pretty much pretty cool. So throughout the door, I'll have um, the nice clear sound. And I just padded the whole wall. Just took the whole wall, padded the whole wall, and I had everything all uh, all dolled up, uh, predominantly whatever I need to do. But uh, we had the Yamaha uh, MGP32X uh, Nectar P6 controller. Uh, one of my favorites uh, when it comes to uh, dog controller. Shea of choice, Serta, executive, high back. One of my favorites too also. Uh, I'll be working on that uh, editing station next to try to get her installed in to try to see if I can um, uh, span her out a little bit more. Behind that, I have other racks of microphones that I actually use too also. And uh, those microphones um, are stored in uh, those bins because it's more easy for me to just pull them out when a client comes and just have them ready to go. In each corner, I have bass traps uh, in every corner too also. So it's pretty much um, one of those ones where I can just isolate that bass in that one particular corner without uh, having any kind of... Uh, because I'm not trying to kill the sound, I just kind of want to just trap it just a little bit and uh, keep it um, ready to go. I also do have a, a radioactive bar in here too also, let's get to that. Just a few of some of the beverage I have um, installed up here too also. A few bottles of Moet, some Liquid Death, I've had Liquid Death, London Dry Gin, Chateau Michel, and uh, Eden's, Mount Eden's uh, Chardonnay 2018 Vintage along with the isolation pads to the top and uh, around the corner. I also do uh, media and I'm a media collector too also. Check out my page turn from the basement. I have tons and tons of uh, media. This is the second shelf that I, I pretty much finished last night. Uh, everything's all organized and uh, ready to go. I'm pretty much pleased uh, that I was able to get everything in order. Because I stayed up all last night trying to get all the box sets uh, all in order and uh, everything um, predominantly set up the way I wanted to set up. Everything's all wired in in the back. I pretty much, uh, this is all Peacock by the way, this is all the cables I use. Uh, so everything's going in and out, in and out. Um, it's back to the console over here that you see. You see the Yamaha subwoofer that's on that, that end right here. Uh, all that that you see gauged up right there is uh, predominantly uh, going all back out to the console. Um, it's coming back into the unit and everything's installed uh, on designated channels. Each channel has a preamp. Uh, the analog side of the console consists of channel one through eight, all have preamps. And it's routed back through this sidecar here. 
Guys, this is a side note. That's that sound bar I was telling you about. It was installed uh, around my bridge. I just took her out so that way y'all guys can see the bridge uh, at the top. So that, um, that's the Basin uh, 32 bar. I normally have that when I master too also. It's pretty pretty good, useful when I use that. And I um, just wanted to let y'all guys see it before I install it back up on the bridge. But that's why y'all guys couldn't see the rack gear behind because this center channel sets on the bridge of the console next to the, the um, top bridge where the um, signal devices are. May I edit in screen number one. All right, guys, I'll end this on this particular note right here. Got the Yamaha MGP32X for analog console. I have my track playing in the background uh, off my recent software. This is all I use in my lab. But this uh, pretty much hybrid setup is uh, easier for me to work through because I'm able to have total maximization over my entire workflow. Uh, I love the Nectar P6. This is one of the best controllers in the world to me. Uh, like I said, I've been using Reason since 3.0, and um, I'm pleased to have it in my lab along with uh, the console. It's an absolute beast, along with the sidecar of rack preamps and uh, microphones. You pretty much have everything that you pretty much need to, to do the job. So, alright, guys, thank y'all for y'all's support, for checking me out. If y'all came by, just drop your support uh, and show me some love at the bottom or leave me some comments. And I'll, I'll try to get back to y'all guys. If y'all on my other page, check out Turf in the Basement, my official uh, media site. Um, I do a virtual drive-in online, so y'all guys check it out, Turf in the Basement. And uh, if you're on Facebook, hit me up. Um, Turf in the Basement also is on that site too. Also, and we're going to Sound Studios main page is also on there too. So y'all guys check me out. But this is the official page for the YouTube site, so I'm trying to build that now. I uploaded some videos. I know I haven't done any videos in a while, so now that's why, guys. Uh, I'm uploading a few videos uh, for y'all guys to check out. So I'm gonna finish this reasons track, and um, thank y'all guys for checking me out. And uh, you'll see more videos coming uh, very very soon. So guys, leave me some uh, support and show me support, and uh, let me know what's going on, and uh, let me know what you're using in your your lab. And um, if you find this video helpful and useful, uh, just let me know in reference to any products or any kind of other microphones you guys are interested in. I have tons of microphones. I have a lot of vintage stuff in here from the, from the 50s and 60s. Uh, I collect a lot of vintage stuff. Uh, I'm an analog baby. I love analog. I love digital too, but I'm a, more of an analog person. Um, I have pretty much uh, a lot of consoles. I've mixed in a lot of consoles over the years, and uh, I can tell you now, but the uh, Yamaha MGP32X is, is my console uh, that I normally use for my uh, live rig. And uh, usually when I do front of the house, I also bring it outside too also. So, from the Radioactive Lab, thank y'all guys for y'all support. Uh, leave me some comments and uh, don't feel free to check me out. Shout out to y'all guys. Peace.